when you decide to go down the chocolate route for your cocktail menus, for your parties at home. You know, you cannot fail when you recreate your favorite chocolate bars. Chocolate bars, everyone loves chocolate bars, candy bars to you guys in the US. Everyone loves them, everyone's got their own flavor, favorites. And do you know what, with all the syrups, with all the flavors available all around the world, not just the UK, but with all the flavors available, it is so easy to recreate them. You could have a separate uh, sort of section on your menus, on your cocktail menus for dessert chocolate bar cocktails. This video, I'm gonna show you how I recreate five of my favorite, but most importantly, all of these have been tried and tested over years, both in all the pubs and bars that I've run and in my sort of mobile bar business. I promise you, these sell. So the first one we're gonna recreate is the Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. Now, the garnish for this should be obvious. The one person I thought would have some in the office hasn't. So, because I, I don't really do peanut butter, but we can recreate this uh, cocktail quite easily by one of the uh, ODK's new syrups, peanut butter syrup. So we haven't really given this too much of a road test, but we're gonna dive in. So we're gonna recreate the peanut butter cup. So, uh, going white rum for this one. Uh, 45 mil, one and a half ounces in there. Lovely. Uh, going to do split on this, so split base, 10 mil of each of these. So 10 mil of, uh, it's, it's just chocolate on steroids, this one. So 10 mil of uh, ODK's chocolate syrup. And then, <laughs> this, I have I have smelt this. This is quite funny. This, this is all shades of peanut butter, this. It really is. If peanut butter is your thing, that's going to be fantastic. So we're going to do 10 mil of the peanut butter syrup as well. And then just going to finish that off with cream. You could do milk alternatives in these, as I haven't mentioned that so far this month. But yeah, by, by all means, you know, if you do soy milk or almond milk or anything like that, you go for your life. You do that. I'm just going cream. So we're going for uh, 40, 45 mil of cream in there. So a good shake. Right, nice and cold. Uh, I'm going to use that rocks glass. I am, I would, I don't know whether to go caramel or chocolate syrup in this. I'm going to go chocolate syrup. I think, I think chocolate. Um, but, you know, you, if you want caramel syrup, I think that might be a good one. Got to have a garnish in the inside here. We're just going to do a good old shake and dump into this glass. Bit of squirty cream. Why not? Why not? Because what I thought, do you know what? There we go. Because I thought, why not? Let's talk myself into it. Let's go for some caramel sauce as well. So I'm just gonna, that's white chocolate, wrong one. So I'm just gonna, there we go. Just gonna drizzle some caramel sauce over the top as well. Look at that, lovely. Garnish that with a Reese's peanut butter cup <laughs> or, or a slab of chocolate. And there you go, Reese's peanut butter recreated. Well, I ain't gonna lie, that tastes of peanut butter. That's quite interesting. I'm not, I'm not, as I say, I'm not the hugest peanut butter fan. That's actually quite tasty. If you're a peanut butter fan, you're gonna absolutely love that. I tell you what, that is quite heavy on the chocolate. I might have even done, I might have even brought the, the chocolate sauce down by five and bumped the peanut butter up by sort of another five. So you've got 15 of peanut butter to five mil of chocolate. That's quite tasty though. Chocolate bar number two, the Kinder Bueno. Now, I, I remember having this conversation last year. I, I hadn't even tried one. And then I think the guys back there gave me one or half of one to try. And it was still the last time I tried one. I've, I've never really had a whole one, but I'm reliably informed it's kind of like chocolate and hazelnut. So that's quite easy to kind of uh, recreate. So uh, we're going for kind of one of my favorite flavored rums. This is, I call this the Nutella uh, rum, to be fair. It's like chocolate and hazelnut, it's lovely. Right, 45 mil, 45 mil of Belgrove uh, hazelnut rum. Lovely, or even the smell, the aroma of that is just insane, so good. Uh, we're gonna add to this 10, we're gonna do a split base of the Monin syrups as well. So we're going for 10 mil of the Monin chocolate. Then we are gonna go 10 mil of Monin uh, hazelnut syrup. So just to bump that hazelnut up even more. So 10 and 10, and then it's simply uh, it's a cream. Uh, I'm going, I, I'm going to do 30 mil of cream in here because it's going in a coupe glass and that should be enough. So 30 mil of uh, single cream or half and half. And it's a good old shake. <laughs> Lovely jubbly. 
And then uh, just coupe glass. I think I think martini, kind of martini is going to suit this. Chocolate and hazelnut sauce. It's just destroy all the all the nice glasses with sauce. Why not? So chocolate and hazelnut sauce around the inside of your coupe martini glass. Whatever you're using, rocks glass. If you want to serve it over ice, that's up to you. And then we're just going to uh, single strain, uh, double strain this to get rid of all the little tiny shards of ice. There we go. There we go, and then just the garnish, obviously a Kinder Bueno, <laughs> but another, another decent slab of chocolate just rested on the side there, he says. Perfect, the Kinder Bueno recreated. Chocolate bar number three is the Turkish Delight, my all time favorite chocolate bar. They are lethal to me because I just can't eat one. <laughs> I would have to eat two or three. I just absolutely love Turkish Delight. So I'm going all out on this. Garnish, obviously, Turkish Delight pieces if you've got. But I've got a product here that I kind of use quite a lot in hen parties. It's, uh, it's like, think tequila rosé, so that strawberry kind of thing. But this is a chocolate tequila. And this is so, so good. <laughs> really, really good. So we're going proper amped up on the chocolate here. Proper amped up. So. Uh, I'm going for 40, 45 mil. You can kind of see that, look, look at that, proper chocolate. The only thing I say about this stuff, go careful, because when I rock it out on hen parties, if they've got white dresses on, this stains. This is like proper 100% chocolate in here. So, uh, I've got 45 mil of uh, tequila, chocolate. Chocolate, tequila, lovely. Uh, and then just going sort of, I'll, I'll do 10 mil, um, but just uh, probably seven and a half mil, there we go, of chocolate, because we've got, We've got quite a bit of chocolate in there already, but I want the rose, without it being too sweet, I want the rose to amp up. So I'm actually going for 15 mil of uh, rose syrup from Moni. There we go. And then I'm just gonna add uh, some cream to this as well. So uh, we're going into a rock slice of 30 mil of cream. Oh, come on, jigger, there we go. Let's go for the creamy jigger. So 30 mil, one ounce of cream. And then it's just a good hard shake. Lovely. Uh, might as well, might as well keep the habit on just a different chocolate sauce. So we've got ODK's chocolate sauce this time. Might as well. There we go. Just a bit of chocolate sauce on the inside of the glass. Lovely. Then just um, good old, good old shake and dump. Again, I might have a little. Look at the colour of that. I might have a little bit left over. Let's just do that. There we go. Perfect. 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 Get rid of that. Uh, and as I say, just like a lovely. Probably a bit of Turkish delight on there as a garnish would be brilliant for your cocktail menus. That wins hands down. Oh my God, chocolate and rose. It's just the two things, you know, you can't buy me those the chocolate covered roses, uh, Turkish delight at Christmas. You just can't do it. <laughs> that's, the, well, that's the best, that's the favorite. Right, for the fourth one we're going to do, we could not do the bounty, could we? Bounty chocolate and coconut, it has to be. This one I'm going to flash blend uh, really, really quickly. So, because uh, I haven't done one yet and I've got the blender ready to go. So, coconut rum. Let's just go all out on coconut. Coconut rum, 45 mil, one and a half ounces of that. Lovely. Uh, coconut puree. Because you want, you know, the bounty's got bits of coconut in it, so you want like a coconut puree with bits of coconut in it. So I'm going to do a uh, third, because this is going to be lovely and sweet. Maybe if I can get 20 mil, he says. Hang on, let me just give it a good shake. No reflection on that, but I'm just going to give up with that. That's kind of why, as I say, no reflection on modern. I, I love this stuff. I, I Hopefully I've got enough in here. It's just, it's coming out in a solid, solid lump on there. Uh, and it is a new bottle. It's a brand new bottle. So I'm going to go... I'm going to go back to ODK. There we go. This has got bits in it as well. So we might have we might have coconut kilt on this. There we go. But nice sound effects. We're going to have uh, 25 mil of that. And that virtually has finished that one. Nothing much left in there. That's why I've got the, the money one there. Uh, and then I'm just going to do uh, 15 mil of chocolate sauce. As I say, this is all going to be flash blended with crushed ice. We're going full out chocolate and coconut on this one. And you can tell that coconut, <laughs> the coconut issue through as well, because I forgot the cream, did I? Uh, 50 ml of cream, that's what I put in there. Right, flash blended with crushed ice. 
There we go, look at that. And then as, as I've still got a bit left, it'd be rude not to do some squirty cream on top. And then I think for this one, we go for the chocolate 100. Well, it's called chocolatey caramel crunch. Kind of like chocolate hundreds of thousands. There we go. Just recreating the bounty. That tastes like exactly how I want to do. Lovely chocolate. The bitterness from the coconut. Both the ODK and the morning have got like coconut bits in them. Plenty of coconut in there. That, that's just the bounty. It is a cocktail version of the bounty. Delicious. Then your last recipe of the month from me is my all-star. I love all of these, but out of all the sort of chocolate cocktails I've ever done over the years, this is the one that just continually converts to put money in your tills. It's the fruit and nut martini based on another of my, I've already said the dairy milk is my favourite chocolate bar, but I do love a fruit and nut as well. There are multiple different ways you could go with this. This is kind of my all-star way. So I go Belgrove's hazelnut rum. So we get the nutty vibes. You would sort of use a normal rum in this with some amaretto if you didn't have this or frangelico, that kind of thing. So we're going 45 mil of uh, hazelnut rum from Belgrove, from my mate Ed. Uh, then raspberry liqueur. Again, if I was at home, I would use uh, Giffard Frambois de Ronce, but we go this one, Monin, 15 mil of raspberry liqueur from Monin. Lovely. There is, I know there's no raspberries in the fruit, the fruit and nut, but it just works. It just works. Cherry, again, you could argue there's no cherry, it's just like raisins, but it works a treat. So cherry brandy, 15 mil, or a cherry liqueur. Yeah. Uh, William Fox's white chocolate syrup. Uh, and I'll go 20 mil of this, 20 mil. Lovely, give it that lovely, this is what gives it the sort of dairy milk vibes, if you like. And then all I do is just to cut that back slightly, is just five mil of the super sour. There we go, give you a close up on that. Just five minutes of that, distilled citrus, it just works a treat, it just cuts that right back. Uh, and then to finish off with 30 mil, one ounce of cream or half and half. And then that is a good shake up. Right, when that's lovely, I love this, love this so much. Right, I, I you could garnish the, in fact, let's do it. Let's not break a habit of a lifetime. There we go. Let's get them all out here. We've got Monin, we've got William Fox. Let's finish with the, the trio. ODK's chocolate sauce, just in the inside, in there. There we go. So all three of our kind of syrup supplies in the last one. Double strain this into your martini glass. Lovely. And then what I like to do on this one, it's kind of why I've just got de dehydrated um, or dried raspberries on there. Just crush, crush them up and you've just got some raspberry dust on top. Amazing. That is my all-star fruit and nut bar. And that does everything you want it to. The chocolate, the dairy milk from the morning, uh, from the William Fox, it is that vibe. The berry notes in there is just like a chocolate, uh, chocolate fruit in that bar. It's delicious, this. So there we go. This month's chocolate done. Before you dive out, comments below. What other chocolate bars would you like to recreate? Another one I've got in my locker that I've sort of done is the Old Jamaica chocolate and orange. Absolutely love that. But dive into the comments below. Let me know your chocolate bar recipes. And if you haven't, if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. But most importantly, smash that like button on the way out.